Hello everyone! This video is about generating a PDF file from HTML using Power Automate. Okay, I started creating a flow in Power Automate, which is just called simply generate PDF from HTML. And uh, my trigger is for a selected item. So it's in SharePoint there is an item in a list where which I can select and then execute this flow. So I select a website in SharePoint that I'm using, the list. And I'm going to first generate an HTML. So I'm doing just simple string variable for now, just for the demonstration purposes. It can be as complicated as you want it to be. But for me, it's a simple text. So we just do um, just some uh, basic HTML tag, say PDF document for. And a username. So for now, just for a selected item, username of the person who is running the who is running the flow. Straight in, uh, straight away, I will rename this so I know in my flow if it's getting more sophisticated, what activity is representing what. And what I'm going to do next is basically get this HTML text and save it into the file. Uh, so I will be using OneDrive for business, create file activity in the root or in the documents. It doesn't matter at the moment, so I just say in the documents. I specify the file name that is going to be created. And um, we just put the, for example, the user ID. So it's always unique. HTML. And the content will be our HTML text. So um, I will rename it to say create HTML file. And I will add a next step, which is generate a PDF. Uh, in my scenario, I will use convert same from um, from OneDrive. And I basically get the file which was created on the previous step. You see this unique identifier of the file. I grab this one and I set the target type as PDF. And that's all. So basically, here right now, what I'm doing is I'm getting the PDF text from the um, HTML file. As easy as that. Very straightforward, very easy to implement, and very useful. Now, what you can do with this PDF uh, content, you can put it into SharePoint, for example as uh, file content from the output of that conversion or you can then use it for example send this as an attachment to an email or put it somewhere else or call some api that will consume that pdf as an input that's all for today stay tuned for more interesting videos on boba's big blog channel